So this lecture deals with tree rotations. So in order to uh, balance height of binary binary such trees, you need to follow some tree rotations. And this lecture actually deals with the basic two tree rotations. One is left rotation. And second one is right rotation. Let us explain it with an example. Consider a subtree rooted at Y. Let this be the subtree rooted at Y. And it is having a left subtree rooted at X. And a right subtree rooted at Z. And Z is having left subtree alpha rooted at alpha and right subtree rooted at beta. So you are going to perform left rotation with respect to no y. So you have to perform left rotation with respect to y. Whenever you perform left rotation with respect to y, z will take the position of root of the subtree. At present before rotation, y is root of the subtree. And whenever we perform left rotation with respect to y, z will take the position of y. So z will become the new root of new subtree. And whenever z takes that position, y will become its left child. Y will become the left child of z. And y's left child remains same. Left subtree remains same. And as far as z is concerned, whenever, whenever you perform left rotation with respect to y, z will take position of the root of subtree and y will take the position of left child of z so that the previous left child of z get detached from z and it get attached as the right subtree or the right child of y and z's right subtree or right child remains unchanged. So this would be the resultant subtree obtained after left rotation with respect to y. So how do you uh, verify whether we have performed correct rotation? So just take the in order traversal uh, before and after rotation. So if we consider in order traversal before rotation, it is x, y, alpha, z, beta. So what about in order traversal in this case? It's x x, y, alpha, z, beta. So, from this it is clear that after performing this left rotation, the uh, in order traversal will be same as that before rotation. Now we can consider right rotation. Right rotation is actually symmetric to left rotation. You can consider a subtree rooted at y. Or you can consider the same subtree. Let the subtree be rooted at z. It's having a right side or right subtree rooted at beta. And it's having a left subtree rooted at y. Which is having a left side or left subtree x. And having a right side alpha. So assume that you are performing right rotation with respect to z. So you are performing right rotation, right rotation with respect to z. So whenever we perform right rotation with respect to z, y will take the position of z. In the sense, y will become root of the or new root of the subtree. So y will become new root of the subtree. Whenever I perform this right rotation, y will take the parent position and z will shift it or pull down to the right child position of y. So z becomes the right child of y and z's right child 
remain unchanged. It will remain the same as before, that is beta. Now, whenever I perform this right rotation, he said, he says new right chain will become, sorry, Y's new right chain become Z and Y's previous right chain get detached and that will get attached as left chain of Z. Now, as far as Y is concerned, before and after rotation, its left circle remains same, unchanged, that is X. Now, let us take in order traversal. Here, in order traversal gives X, Y, Alpha, Z, Beta. And here, in order traversal gives X, Y, Alpha, Z, Beta. So, before and after rotation, the in order traversal will remain same, which indicates that the rotation performed is perfect. And again, if you consider the tree, this particular tree rooted at Y, we have performed a left rotation to obtain a tree rooted at Z. And in the same tree, if I perform right rotation with respect to Z, we will be getting the initial tree. That is, left rotation followed by a right rotation, which actually, left rotation followed by uh, the followed by a right rotation on the result of left rotation will give the uh, previous or initial tree. So these are the two main tree rotations used to balance binary search